All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So first things first, you guys see the sweater. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Number two, we are going to be showcasing the new or I guess old Prime Battle LR Super Saiyan Goku, but with his brand new Extreme Z Awakening on the global side of the game, of course, at rainbow status. Guys, I have been waiting for this for a very, very very long time. I'm super excited. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so his new leader skill is super class. Key plus four, HP, attack and defense plus 90% or extreme class. Key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 70% is super attacks. The 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And the 18 key will cause mega colossal damage, raises Alice attack by 30% and chance of performing a critical hit by 10% for one turn. His passive is attack and defense plus 59%, key plus three, plus an additional defense plus 59% as the first attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 59% when performing an ultra super attack, and all allies key plus three when attacking an extreme class enemy. So those are the new details for the Goku. Otherwise, everything else does stay the same from before the EZA. Oh, except for the fact that of course, his super attack level goes up to 25 as opposed to 20. So that is the EZA Prime Battle Goku. And now we're going to jump into the uh, Bobbity's Army stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history to see what this guy can actually do. Okay, so on the first rotation, he's linked up with one of his better linking partners in the game, the Tech Bardock. And we also got the support from the exchange Goku and Gohan. He's starting off with 89,948 defense, which is not bad, but it's also not great. But keep in mind that he does greatly raise his defense on his 12 key super. So defensively overall, after he supers, he should be pretty solid. All right, so we're starting with a very good board here. We got some orb changes, of course, from the Bardock. So this should give us a 24 key super. So let's see what he can do on the first turn here. We're taking 20 damage, 105. Okay. Okay. Um, turn one. 5.2 million? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, imagine if that was a crit. We did 4.7 million damage without a crit. Imagine if that was a crit. That would have been like 9 million damage. Dude. Dude. Okay. Um, yeah, good start. Good start. I mean, I, I, I've always known. I've, I've always known that this guy was a monster, right? But I just never really had a chance to... You know use him for myself because my jp account you know is still missing a lot of stuff it still needs a lot of work so i wasn't able to get the easy for goku done there but now that he's on global and i can see firsthand for myself just what this guy's all about he's insane he's insane i'm gonna say right now like after the first attack after the first attack i'm gonna say right now easily the best free-to-play unit in the game on global okay gotta make that distinction because obviously there is the uh, prime battle first form frieza who i do think is better but until the frieza makes his way over to global this goku i think easily takes that title of the best free to play unit in the game like that's crazy that's crazy so now we have no extra support 4.3 million still. And look at that difference in damage too that we take right after we super compared to before. So before we supered, we took about, what was it, like 15, 20k I believe. And then after we super, it becomes double to triple digit damage. But before the super, you do have to be a little bit careful with him because as you saw, his defense is not awesome prior to getting the super off. But I think that his damage output, you know, does very much make up for any defensive liabilities that he has. You know, like, it's a very good balance, I would say, of offense 
and defense, definitely more on the offensive side, but his defense is not super lacking either. Like, he definitely has much better defense than a lot of other units in the game, a lot of even like LRs, some of the older ones like the OG5. Those guys have trash defense, right? So when compared to those guys, like this Goku's defense is actually pretty, pretty freaking solid. And uh, guys, I'm just, <laughs> I'm kind of blown away right now, man. We've only seen two attacks, one with a support, one without a support. Now we're about to see another one with support. And uh, it should be another, yeah, 24 key super right here once we get the additional key. And uh, we should be finishing off Yakon. And uh, yeah, it's it's been great. <laughs> it's been great 5.2 once again so it seems like with the support plus the bardock linking up we're going to be getting over 5 million pretty consistently and without support we're looking at like 4 4.3 something like that now of course recently i've had some people ask me what the best build for this goku is and initially i just thought like yo go all crit right like go as offensive as possible but on second thought, I think you should probably consider going with more of a balanced build, you know, like a little bit more additional instead of all crit. Instead of level 20 crit, I might go like 12 additional, 14 crit, or something like that because his 12 key super greatly raises defense, right? So on the turns where you're able to get that additional super attack from the hidden potential system, he's going to be even more tanky than he normally would be, which is obviously super important for events like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, LGE, so on and so forth. By the way, his 18 key super doesn't raise defense, so the reason he gets more tanky after the 18 key super is because he only gets that additional 59% defense for being the first attacker after he attacks. Alright, so uh, it looks like on this turn, the Bura is going to kind of mess up our rotations and we won't be able to keep the Bardock and Goku together. And I'm kind of worried about these guys right now because they don't have a lot of defense. So I'm actually going to pop this Ghost Usher. I mean, I don't know if it's necessary. I'm just a little bit concerned that we're going to die here. Um, yeah, let's pop the Ghost Usher. And get a nice 24k super off with Goku. And uh, we should actually finish off to Bura. Man, I hate enemies who do this. I hate enemies who... Lock your rotations, like it's just not fun. Okay, 5.4. <laughs> oh man. No, I thought I thought we had to reach our limit. I thought we had reached our limit, but nah, apparently we can still go a little bit further. Even further beyond, if you will. So 5.4. Additional normal, unfortunately, but we finished him off. Pretty nice. Alright, so at this point, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have a pretty solid understanding of what this Goku is all about, what this Goku can do. He is absolutely amazing, especially for a free-to-play LR, but he is very comparable to a lot of summonable LRs in this game. I would argue he's actually a lot better than many summonable LRs. Like, obviously not the newest ones. He's not as good as the new Gohan. He's not as good as Ultra Instinct Goku. But he definitely has many summonable LRs in this game beat, both offensively and defensively. That's just my opinion, of course. Um, but yeah, we lost the Bardock. This, I think, will still give us a 18 key super though. And we might be able to get the token attack off. Let me see. Um, ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Is this enough? Yes, it is. Perfect. All right, so token attack on the way. We're taking, ooh, okay, a decent amount of damage from normals, like not too much, but a super there would have probably hurt us pretty bad. But there is our token attack. We have 3.99 million for the attack stat. If we crit here, Majin Vegeta is most likely dead. If we don't, we'll still do a lot of damage, so either way, it's going to be good. Okay, never mind. Never mind, he's dead either way. <laughs> Didn't even need a crit. Man. He's awesome. He's such an impressive unit, man. Like, I was mostly expecting this, but even with my high expectations, he exceeded them, you know? So, uh, yeah. 
I'm glad I took the time to farm him out. I'm glad that I you know, went through all the trouble to like get all those units done before the EZA became available. And now I can just enjoy him. If you guys you know, haven't put in the work yet, haven't put in the time, there's still time, right? Like the Extreme Z area is going to be around for a while. So, um, you know, get on it, man. Get on it. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be around like forever, right? So like there's no real rush. But this is a unit that you just want to have in your collection, you know, like you just want to have them available to you for Extreme Super Bad Road or whatever the case may be. So uh, if you guys haven't done it yet and you are maybe having some trouble, you don't really understand how everything works, there will be a link above my head. Actually, I think it's on that side to a guide that I've made explaining the entire process. Okay, so uh, yeah, get on it, guys. Get on it. He's 110% worth your time. So, uh, this is probably going to be the last attack of the showcase. I mean, obviously, I could probably clear the event with this team, but I don't really think there's a point in dragging this on anymore. We've pretty much seen what he can do. We've seen him at his peak performance, and I don't know about you guys, but I have been fair. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, that was... Oh, this is going to be rough. We might just... Die. Oh, never. Okay, we survived. We survived. We're good. <laughs> at least we didn't. At least we didn't go on an L. But um, yeah, his defense, as I mentioned earlier, right? Like it's good. It can be very good, in fact, if you get the additional 12 key super. But um, it's not like amazing. It's not the best. So especially against harder enemies like this with type disadvantage too, just be careful. Okay, he could still get punished he could still like get you killed he's not a brick wall like agl gohan or one of the easy a golden frieza's right but his defense is good nonetheless it's just not like amazing but there you go guys that is gonna be today's showcase hope you guys enjoyed it i've been waiting for this for a very long time and i gotta say man this guy was a hundred percent worth the wait so there you go. That is your showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. Are you guys impressed or were you expecting a little bit more? I can't imagine anybody not being impressed by this unit, but you never know. Anyways, guys, Merry Christmas once again. Have fun. Stay safe. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.